Hello and thanks for joining me today. On today's video, I'm going to show you a few things I bought it at Hobby Lobby. So I bought several stencils. Some of these stencils are what you would use on a wall if you were stenciling a wall. But my um, gel plate is 12 by 12, so I think they'll work pretty good on them. The first one, this one was 87 cents and it was just fun. It says, save the drama for your llama, llama love. I got that one to show my husband and maybe I'll make something with that to give him on it. So that's 87 cents. This one was Alphabet and it's 74 cents. These are all reduced. I thought that was a pretty fun font that I might use sometime. And then I got another one here too. This was a larger one. This was 99. I mean, for 99 cents, anytime I need a, a stencil of the alphabet, I can have that. Then this one was $1.49. Like I say, these are used more to stencil a wall. And they're not separated either. I don't know if I'll cut that down the middle or just leave it like that, but I thought that was a pretty pattern. And for $1.49, why would I pass that up? <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's another one in a, one of that. That's a pretty pattern kind of like firework burst. Then this one was a dollar twelve and it's more the size of my plate. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one like I'm saying is like a large for a large wall. It was thirteen dollars twelve ninety nine originally and it was reduced to three twenty four Four. So I just went ahead and got it. Actually, I think it goes this way. I thought it was real pretty though. I'll use what I can of it. And then this one's more patternish. Then, really, one thing I've been wanting was these clear stamps, and I went ahead and got this size because they had this one package that I was interested in, the uh, designs that were in it. And this one's kind of long from what I could tell, so I went ahead and got this one. I used a 40% off coupon on this, but this I paid full price. This was $3.99, and then I bought some lettering for $2.99. But I've been wanting to try that. I can't wait to try that. And then I got some card stock. This was 50% uh, off, so I got two packages for five. This is uh, cream colored 25 sheets, but this is the size of my plate, so that should work pretty good. And then I bought some Gray's cardstock. This is uh, 100 sheets, five colors, uh, 20 each, five colors. So I got that for 50% off, so that was 450 for 100 packs. So I thought that was pretty good. So I'm going to get everything um, unwrapped and uh, see what to do to use them. I think I'm using entirely too much paint, but we'll see. So let's just go ahead and do a background. Yes. Pup, pup. What you doing, pup? What you doing, buddy? What you doing, bud? There's that print. That's okay. All right, so let me do one more that's a little lighter. And that's the one I'll try to pull the stencil off of. Okay, I'm gonna let that Make a print of that. <coughs> what do 
what is it, love? I'm going to have to take care of him right after this. So after I make this one, I'm going to get up just a second. Yeah, you can definitely tell this paint is drying. There's the sheets pulling to it. So there, I've just made a background. And I'm going to use this one with a stencil. That was that plain one. See what I can get into with this. This is that big stencil. I don't really know what to expect on this. Wow, that turned out kind of nice. It's very light, so I hope you can see it. But I'm going to do this right here also. Put it over here. I am very happy. This is very good. It's light, so I don't know if you can see it. But I like that a lot. So on this one here, since it's pretty dry, I will try a darker one. That way maybe you can see it. Of course, I could pull a ghost off of that. Let's see if it'll work. Yes. Yes, puppy dog. Ooh, this turned out nice too. Looks like wallpaper, <laughs> but it still turned out nice. Wow, look at that, that is so pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna do the darker one. See how it turns out. Let's just do straight up blue. I might put a little white in there. I like the look of a little white. Kind of looks like you're using the turquoise without using turquoise. All right. Give it a whirl. That turned out pretty good. I like that. Let's see where do I want this at. Very nice. I really like that. For 324, a big stencil like this, this is a really good deal. I like this a lot. So there's that. 
very light. So I'll tell you what, on this one, on that one that's so light, I will totally ruin it by now. I will totally ruin it now by putting a bird on there. Let's put a metallic and white bird on there. Of course, I could have put a ghost, pulled a ghost print off of that one. Let me pull this one. Let's see, we'll do this one. remember to pull my ghost print once I get through with this. So here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, that's okay. A bird. <laughs> that turned out kind of nice. All right. Okay, we're going to see what this purple looks like. School. Parker Purple. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more. That paint's kind of old, so I don't think it's really covering the way that it should. That's not too bad at all. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's see how that comes up. Let's see 
see how it looks on this. Of course, when you use the stencil, it leaves whatever background you have already printed on there. But when you do a ghost print like this, it covers the whole page so it blends the whole page. That's not bad. And of course it's a, a, a negative a inverted image of the other one. Well that's not bad at all. So that one's without the stencil and that one's with the stencil. That's all right. Worked out pretty nice. And then here's that other one that I made. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I kind of like it. So we're moving on. We're going to try something else. I'm going to use an orange. This may be terribly hideous, but I'm going to give it a try. Green. Sage green with white. I'll tell you what, I'm really going to go crazy and use this purple. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Let's see what it ends up looking like. Whatever it ends up looking like, I'm going to use it. But that's not bad. Not bad at all. pretty good. I think the sage too. I like the sage. Alright, so let's go this way on. Try this stencil. Actually, I wanted to, I should have turned it over if I wanted the other one up. And too, I don't have a background on this page now, do I? So we'll just end up how it looks, see how it looks. Well, that's not bad. That looks pretty good. And then I'll just do, let's see, to be symmetrical. Do this one over here. I don't think I got it straight, but that's okay. That's not bad at all. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make one more. Go back in on this one. not too bad the colors are too much of the same but yeah I kind of liked that a lot let's see what a ghost print looks off of that I don't think it's too much of anything but we'll see Wow. 
Wow, I really like that. It looks like something from the 70s, I know. The colors and the tech, oh my goodness, I love that. Look at that, oh, that's so cool. So cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Colors, everything, I really like that one. Okay, so that's all I'll do for this session. I did get to use some of my stencils that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I think that's my favorite print. And then I went back in with that stamp. I'm gonna have to work with it a little bit more and figure out how to, what I wanna do with it in this one. The fireworks one. Turned out not too bad, it's okay. And then this one, this one just kind of is all muddled. I think that's my favorite order of them. And then the big flower one with the bird. I thought that was pretty good. And this one. This one's kind of light and you may not be able to really see the colors on it, but it's it's kind of pretty. I like that gold and green together. And then this one, it's kind of faint. So those are my favorites in order of that. But I thank you for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them. And we'll see you next time.